Today we're going to look at equations who contain brackets, parentheses and braces. And we know we solve from the inside going outside and we always solve them first. If you're not already following me, you are welcome aboard. Just press subscribe to stay connected on my YouTube channel. I have hundreds of videos there. You can always catch up on this missed materials from grade one all the way to grades in senior school. And uh, I can help you daily. I load every day. Right, so we're going to look at this problem here. We have B, and then we see it's got some brackets there, or parentheses, some people call them. So we're going to solve what's inside that first before we continue with the rest of our algebraic problem. Right, so we're going to say fine. We can't say B plus 5, so we first have to. The rule is always we're going to apply, multiply that in there, whether it's a sign or whether it's an alphabetical character or number. It has to be multiplied in like that. So let's do that first. So we're going to end up then with b squared plus 5b. b squared plus 5b. Okay, so that is our parentheses taken care of. And then we're going to write the rest of the equation as it stands above. Okay, equals b squared plus 10. Now we know our algebraic rules. We need to isolate the b's on one side and we need to do the opposite or the inverse on either side of the equal sign in order to isolate and to solve. So our next step is this b squared and that b squared. So we're going to minus, this is a plus over here, so it's going to be minus on that side and on the other side. Okay, so we minus it on both sides to get rid of it on this side here. And then we also just write the rest as it is, plus 5b and plus 10. Now when we simplify this piece here, we can see we actually have Plus b, minus, plus b squared minus b squared, so these two are cancelling each other out, and plus b squared minus b squared, those two are cancelling each other out. So doing our inverse on the opposite sides has actually eradicated b squared. So what are we left with? We're left with 5b equals 10. Now we need to isolate 5b, we, we need to isolate the b of it by dividing by 5. We do the inverse, so we're going to divide by 5 on this side, and on the other side of the equal sign, and we end up with b equals 2. Okay, right. Now, you can see now how we sort out symbols of inclusion in algebra. Now, let's look at this one. We can see we've got symbols on in of inclusion on either side of our equal sign, but that's not a problem. We just deal with them first. So we're first going to work that into that, and then that into that, and then we look at the rest of the problem. Right, so what are we left with then? We are left with y equals minus 5y squared, that's that there, okay, and then plus 7y, that's that there. Right, on the other side we have y minus 4y squared, that's that there, and then we have minus 4y, that's that and that, there it is there. And then we write the rest in as it stands. So we're still on either side of the equal sign. We're working with our equations. We've now simplified everything down to this. We've now got rid of our symbols of inclusion. We've applied the rules. Let's see what's next. So we have our y here. And we want to take this y away. That's a plus y. So we're going to minus a y there and minus a y on the other side. Okay, we'll look at that just now. And then... Minus 4y squared becomes plus 4y squared on this side. And then minus 4y becomes plus 4y over there. And minus y squared becomes plus y squared. That's all on this side of the equal sign. We've written that out. And now we're going to look how it affected the other side. We took them all away. Remember, we did the inverse of all of these over here. Now we're left with just minus 22. Right. Now let's simplify on the left and see what we come up with. We come up with 11y because plus y minus y cancels out. Minus 5y squared plus 4y squared is minus y squared plus this y squared here cancels all of those out. So all the y squareds are cancelled out. And we're left with 7y plus 4y and that comes to 11y. And then the other side we are left with equals minus 22. Now we need to isolate the y by dividing by 11. So we divide by 11 on this side, do the same to the other side. We end up with y is equal to minus 2. Don't forget our minus sign because there's a plus there. Minus and a plus equals a minus. OK, 
Okay, so 11 went into 22 minus 2 times. Right, so you've got an idea now how you work with symbols of inclusion in algebra, and I'll see you tomorrow's class.